Hello everyone. So lately I've been getting a lot of questions, mainly from people new to the channel, about what do I use to capture all my gameplay footage. So I thought instead of responding to all the individual comments asking about it, I thought I would just show you guys in a video. So I use Elgato as the brand for all my video capturing, and I use these two devices. So this is the Elgato Video Capture, it's just simply called Elgato Video Capture. It's the standard def one that I use for recording footage from my Wii N64 and also my DVD player for the video game movie reviews because it'll work with all those things. And over here is the Elgato Capture HD. So this is meant to work with anything that uses an HDMI. So talking about this one first, this has the standard AV cables for the standard plugs for red, yellow, and white. And there's this other one over here for a composite, because some machines do use composite cables instead, or they have the option for it. So, you have the option of using either AV or composite. And there's this end that you use to plug into your computer. Now, how it works, there's a bit of software that you download to actually use this, but it is free after you purchase this. This, I think, was $100 when I originally got it. I think it's lower in price now, because it was a couple years ago when I got this. You plug this end into the computer and you boot up the Elgato Video Capture software and it's going to be the version for standard def, so the version for this device right here. And then you take the AV out cables from your N64 or Wii or GameCube, whatever it is that uses an AV cable, and you plug those, instead of plugging them into your TV, you plug them into these out cables, these in ports right here. And then so the signal for the picture and the sound will go through these cables into the little device right here and then go into your computer and then you can record all your gameplay footage. Now the one flaw with this design that I had to contend with for a while was that when you have it plugged in like this it doesn't show anything on the TV so you can only see what's on your computer and you can't make the screen on your computer any bigger than the default. So that can be annoying. So the way that I got around it was by using... So I purchased on Amazon this box, this AV box that lets you plug in multiple red, white, and yellow AV cable into it. So there's four input ports and then there's two output ports. So you can plug in up to four different AV using devices. So I have plugged in my N64, Wii, and the DVD player for three of the input areas. And then for the two out ports, I have one going into the TV and then one going into the into this device, which then leads into the computer. And so then that way, the signals will send into the TV and the computer at the same time. So if you're going to be using this and you want to be able to see what you're doing on your big screen while it's recording on the computer, then I recommend you get that. So it is a bit more money, but this itself should be much cheaper than this because this is more standard for nowadays as a lot of things have HDMI but the way that this works so this is just the little box itself it comes with other cables so you plug the HDMI from so I mainly use this now to record switch footage so you plug the HDMI out cable into where it says HDMI in on this end and there's also a port for AV so if you really wanted to you could theoretically use this with AV it just needs to use a very specific cable so it has uh, so something kind of like this basically the composite version of AV some things you may need an adapter for because not all devices will go with composite out so it does but it does have that option if you want to just use this for everything so this especially is a really good device to have anyways you plug in the switch HDMI out cable into here and then on this end you plug the so there's a USB and an HDMI out so the HDMI out you would plug in there's a, it comes with the so this comes with its own HDMI cable so you plug that into HDMI out and then you just connect that into the TV and then meanwhile the 
USB cable that is also included. You plug that into here, and then you plug the other end into the computer, and then it sends that way. It sends the signal into the TV and the computer at the same time, and then it records all your footage from your Switch, your Wii U, your PS4, your Xbox One. It'll pretty much work with anything that's HDMI. It's uh, only a little bit more complicated to work with the PS3 because the PS3 just had to be very different, so there's all these little things you have to do for recording PS3 footage. But otherwise, this works very well. Uh, sometimes I've had some glitches just with getting it to register that the Elgato cable is plugged into the computer. Sometimes it doesn't see it. So, um, like for some reason, sometimes it'll show two different Elgato options when I scroll down or sometimes it just won't pick it up right away so then I just unplug it and replug it in and then it works. But other than that it works pretty good and you can also live stream from this so any of you who watched my Zombie U live stream that I did last spooky month I used this for doing all that and so the way that it works for that is you register the Elgato software, the Elgato HD software with your YouTube channel and once you do all the stuff on YouTube, then you can you can live stream from the Elgato software with all this recording. And then it also, the software for this can connect with whatever microphone you're using. Like in my case, I use the Blue Microphone Yeti for all my voiceover recordings. And so I just hook that up onto my computer and I turn on the commentary button. So that allows me to record voiceover commentary and gameplay footage at the same time. And then it all just captures as one big file. And so it just sends all that out when I'm doing live streams. So I haven't tried live streaming for a while just because of like internet troubles that I've been having in little live streaming problems that I had doing Zombie U last year. So maybe I'll try live streaming eventually sometime in the future if there's enough demand for it, but that's just a look at what I use for all my gameplay footage, for capturing all my gameplay footage. It's pretty easy to use. There's other game capture devices out there, and I have used other game capture devices before I got this. The one I used before was Hop Hog. It was, I think, around the same price, but it just didn't work as well. It had a lot of glitching with it, especially when I was recording my Call of Duty footage for that review a couple years back. And so I finally just gave that away. I took it to an e-cycling place and then I got this and it's much more reliable and it's much easier to use. So both of these Elgato devices, they will work on Mac and PC and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any further questions about these devices, and I think I'll also put links in the description below of where you can buy both of these devices on Best Buy and any other websites I think are selling these for pretty decent prices. So that's a look at the Elgato video capture device for standard def and high def. Hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully that answers all your questions about what do I use to capture all my gameplay footage and especially if you're looking to do gameplay if you're looking to start your own YouTube channel with gameplay footage whether it's for live streaming or let's plays or starting your own reviews and hopefully this helped you out with knowing what to get for recording recording all your gameplay footage and with that I'm the Nintendo reviewer signing off see you next time